Hey, welcome back. I know, it's been a little while. Hopefully this is the beginning of me getting back into the swing of things. This will be a little different than my previous bullet journal videos, as I'm sure you can already tell. I have a few unique spreads and I've come up with my own way to put together my weeklies and trackers. But beyond that, obviously, I'm doing a voiceover and describing everything to you guys. If you follow me on any of my other socials, you know that I'm trans and I have vocal dysphoria, which is part of the reason why I didn't do this before. But recently, I got prescribed hormone replacement therapy, and I thought that my videos would be an interesting way to track those changes. I did this collage part ahead of time because all of the pieces were a lot to keep track of in between sketching out my spread ideas and filming. As you can tell, my June theme is newspaper, and I had this planned out way ahead of time. I had no idea that there was going to be so much in the news this month. It just sort of worked out that way. of scrap paper to the right size and pasted it in to cover the mistake. So I've decided to do at least one unique two-page spread every month, usually something that is art practice focused. Last month I made myself as a D&D character because the theme was dice. This month the special spread is about good news. I think we can all use the reminder that not everything is a dumpster fire right now. I got the articles that I'm referencing in this spread from the Good News Network, which I will link down below.
This spread is basically my version of what some people do as a monthly playlist or a TBR, and it's themed for Pride Month. I have a list of some of my favorite songs by a few LGBT artists, two books that I want to read, and some podcasts that I want to listen to. I really liked the Monstera leaf doodle that I drew next to the Amazon article on the last spread, so I reprised it here. I ended up needing to fill this page, and for a while I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I eventually decided on another art page. a political cartoon from 1754 and I realized after the fact that you kind of have to be familiar with that one to fully understand what I'm saying here. The 1754 cartoon is about the colonies joining the Union just before the American Revolutionary War. So what I'm trying to say here is that we as individuals now need to be unified toward the common goal of slowing the spread of COVID in order to survive as a community. Alright, last spread. 
This is the new combo thing that I'm doing. I started it last month and it worked much better than the previous kinds of weeklies and trackers that I had done. So I have a Dutch door so that I have space for each week of the month. And then I have my trackers on the sidebars. On the left is my prayer slash focus and my mood tracker. The quote here is from Peter Pan. And the full line is, do you believe in fairies? Say quick that you believe. If you believe, clap your hands. I chose it because Litha, which is this month, is a good time to celebrate fairies if you believe in them. And removed from that context, it still offers kind of a daily philosophy that I can try to embody throughout the month. On the right side, I have my habit trackers. This month I'm tracking taking my meds, drinking water, moving or exercising, and creating. That might be art or writing or craft or whatever, just something creative every day. Finally, in the center, I have my week at a glance calendar along the bottom, and then categorized to-do lists, which don't have any items on them yet. Uh, and the categories that I'm using are home, hobby, and work. And next to that, I have a little space for journaling. And since I usually only journal one or two sentences at a time, that'll be enough space for me for the week. cartoon and my first voiceover. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I'll see you next time.